Tonight, continuing coverage of Georgia's new controversial election law. Governor Kemp signed the bill into law yesterday. Today, while getting his COVID-19 vaccine in Waycross, he explained why. Well, it wasn't a, a, a voting rights bill. It was an election security bill that actually increases early voting uh, opportunities on the weekend here in Georgia. Also, it requires a photo ID for absentee by mail, just like when you vote in person. And it continues to, I think, will allow Georgia to have secure, accessible, fair elections in Georgia. Republicans in Houston and Bibb County say they're happy with the law and just want to raise confidence in Georgia's elections. Sarah Hammond spoke to three Republican state lawmakers to hear why they think now is the time to pass this bill. Houston County Republican State Representative Shaw Blackman says he's pleased with the law. I think a lot there's a lot of good things that are going to help the security of our elections moving forward and preserve and access at the same time. He says he doesn't believe Senate Bill 202 was solely a reaction to the 2020 election and the claims of widespread voter fraud. It's an, something that we are reviewing constantly to make our elections uh, you know, more fair, more accessible and more transparent and secure. Bibb and Monroe County State Representative Dale Washburn says the most important thing is rebuilding trust in Georgia's election system after 2020. There was a lot of misinformation, I believe, that caused a lot of anxiety and caused a lot of the lack of confidence. He says strengthening voter identification is a good place to start. Uh, most of the time, with anything of substance in our day-to-day uh, -day life, it is not out of the question to have to show some form of ID. Representative Heath Clark, who represents Houston County, says a lot of these changes came from seeing an election cycle like never before. Because we, we've never had the amount of absentee ballots that we had this last year. Um, the, the pandemic opened up, exposed a lot of things across the state. And Clark says he does not believe the law makes it harder for anyone to vote. We're still allowing the no excuse absentee ballots. Um, we're just we're putting guardrails on those processes to make sure that every legal vote is cast and um, that it's easy to vote and hard to cheat. In Houston County, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. All three said it's important for people to trust the state's election system and that the new law will help achieve that.